I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. I am gonna sit in a half lotus. Well, we are using our easy seat to help ground, center and soothe our mind and our bodies. As we are rooted to the earth with our buttocks. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. And may we hang out here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we are winding down our mind and our bodies, just taking a moment to go inward and focusing on self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, simply being aware without judgment. As we allow our palms to relax downward towards the earth, we are connecting our fingertips to, the, to our environment. We are connecting with where we are, simply noticing, feeling, bringing in the energies. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds, we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. As we breathe our palms above our heads, we're gonna flow into that seated salute. Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. Interlacing our palms together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to flow towards the back. Fill in this light back bend here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling to center, separating our palms. As we twist our bodies towards the right, breathing our palms downward towards the earth. As we gaze over that right shoulder, we are in our seated twist. As we are relaxing and soothing our spinal cord here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're gonna come into that seated star. Our palms are slightly off towards the side, feeling that stretch as we twist our bodies towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Seated twist, opposite side. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing into that star. Exhale into that salute. Breathing to our prayer, bringing our palms down that heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. We're gonna go inward for two breaths. Breathe in, exhale. As we flow our bodies onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose, knees are hip distance apart, elbows are straight. As we drop down to our cow, head relaxes between our shoulder blades. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to cow, breathing to cat, exhale into our table. As we work on our sunbird here, we're gonna breathe that right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch as we extend that left arm forward. We are balancing and strengthening here as we are gaze forward. Our core muscles are nice and tight here. We're gonna hold this three breaths. 
two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch? Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale to table. As we drop down to our cow. Breathing to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we sunbird opposite side, we're going to extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Breathing that right arm forward. We are in that full sunbird opposite side. Holding on to this pose for a couple breaths. Hmm. Breathe in. Exhale, breathing that knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale, the table. As we drop down to our cow. Exhale into cat. Pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Finding pause as we breathe that right leg in the air, three-legged dog, right side, feeling that stretch. Exhaling, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged. Holding it up, two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our pause as we three-legged opposite side, breathing that left leg in the air nice and high. Two more breaths, feeling that stretch. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Lowing back to three-legged, holding it up here. Two breaths. Exhale into our down dog. As we flow into our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. As we walk our feet closer towards our torso. We are gazed back at our feet. Allowing our head to completely relax here in our dolphin pose. In our dolphin, we are preparing our body for headstand. As we hang out here for four breaths. Crossing up and down on our tippy toes, if that feels good for us. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a wide-legged child's pose. Allowing that torso, the heart chakra, to come down towards the earth. Extending our arms in front of us with our palms flat on the floor. We are now in our wide-legged extended child's pose with our third eye chakra, our forehead, connected to the earth. As we breathe in, exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward into the earth. Feeling the mind and the body completely relaxing here. As we take a couple of breaths here in our child's pose, simply going and we're checking in with self and seeing how we feel right here, right now, in this moment. Five breaths. Two more breaths.
With our arms extended in front of us and our palms are flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. We're going to do four spinal waves, adding the head, cervical spine into the flow if you feel. We are loosening and soothing that spine. As we find our pause at center, coming into that tabletop pose, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to that table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're gonna come into a seated position, just for a second. And we're gonna breathe our feet together, coming into a bound pose. We can be either in our diamond or our butterfly. We're gonna work on opening up our hips here. <sighs> Take a moment to see how this diamond feels within our inner thighs. And if all feels well, maybe we can slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we are opening up those hip flexors a little more. So allowing that heart chakra or your torso to come downward towards your feet. And maybe allowing your head to drop downward towards your feet as well. Shoulders flows forward. Allowing the body to simply go inward here. As we take natural, subtle breaths, using a breath to help us go deeper into this pose. Nice and easy. Three more breaths. As we use our hands to push our bodies out of this bound position, we're gonna come into a seated cow. Staying in our bound position, we're gonna allow our heart chakra to open, our chin slightly up as our head relaxes between our shoulder blades. We are in our cow pose. Two breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. We are in that cat pose. Noticing how this feels. Tummies are tight. Two breaths. Mm. Flowing back to our cow. Exhaling back to our diamond or our butterfly. Taking our hands, bringing our knees inward as we straighten our legs out, parallel side by side, finding our bodies here in that staff pose. With our toes pointed upwards towards the heavens, spinal cord is nice and long, tummies are tight, tightening our stomach down at the bottom at the belly button, keeping it nice and tight down there. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. As we breathe our palms up, coming into that seated salute. Exhale into prayer. As we slightly hinge at the hips, we are in our seated forward fold. So we are bringing our torso closer towards our thighs, gazing downward or closing our eyes, noticing how this feels. And if all feels well, maybe we could come into a complete forward fold, allowing the torso to come closer to the thighs, allowing the head to drop downward towards the knees, reaching our hands downward towards our ankles or the bottoms of our feet if that feels good for you. We are now in a complete forward fold. This is also a full body stretch. We're gonna hang out here for four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Exhale into that half, forward, flowing back up to that staff pose. Relaxing the body here. As we work on our stage Marichi, we're gonna take that right foot, right foot's flat on the earth, right knee is in the air. Positioning our bodies to feel nice and comfortable. So once again, left foot is straight out, right foot is on the earth, right knee is in the air. We're gonna take that right arm, lift it up in the air, lean our bodies towards the left, Lean forward, slightly lower that right arm and wrapping that right arm around that right leg. Building that stretch, Sage Marigi. And we can hang out here if this feels good for us. 
We can also bend in this left foot, if that feel good. We can keep it straight. We also can, this is an option, taking our left hand, wrapping that left hand behind our backs, interlacing our left and right fingertips. And now we are still in our Sage Mariki. This is actually considered a Sage Mariki one. If we wanna flow into a Sage Mariki two, we'll simply hinge our bodies at our hips, allowing our torso to come downward towards our thigh and relaxing our head downward, simply gazing down at our thigh. Noticing how this feels a little different in your lower back when we go into that Sage Marici too. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to that Sage Marici one, opening up their heart chakra. Chin is slightly up, now we are in that one. Two more breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, straightening out that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Hinging that to hips, coming into that half forward fold. And if we're able, breathing down to that complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the feet or the ankles. Two breaths. Exhale into half. Flow it back up to our staff pose. And we're going to stage and reach the opposite side, taking that left leg, left foot is on the earth, left knee is in the air, positioning our bodies to feel nice and comfy. Taking our left arm, reaching it up in the air, leaning our bodies towards the right, leaning forward, lowering that left arm down a little as we wrap this left arm around that left leg. We are now in that stage and reach the opposite side, feeling that stretch. Keeping in mind that we can keep this right leg straight or we can bend that leg inward. Whatever feels best for you. I like to keep mine straight sometimes and to know how I feel in my body. And we can option to take this right arm, right hand and wrap it around our backs, interlacing our right and left fingertips. Now we just went a little deeper into that Sage Marici. With our heart chakra opened and our chin up, we are in a Sage Marici one. Two more breaths. Exhale as we hinge at the hips, lowering our torso downward towards our thigh, allowing our head to relax downward, gazing at our leg. We are now in our Sage Marici two. Noticing how this feels a little different in the body. You can feel it in different parts of your spine. Two more breaths. Exhale back up to Sage Marici one. As we slowly uninterlace those fingertips, unwrapping that leg, we're gonna straighten out that leg, coming back into that staff pose, breathing our arms above our heads, coming into that salute. Exhale into our prayer. Crossing our feet at our ankles as we come back to our tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart. Elbows are nice and straight, dropping down to that cow. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe this right arm up in the air, fingertips flows towards the heavens, towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch as we are gazing up at our right fingertips. Feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Gaze in the eyes down or close in the eyes. We are gonna relax and soothe here for five breaths. Hmm. And if we choose, we can actually wrap our left hand behind our backs or we can extend our left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever you choose, thread the needle, thread the needle, four more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two breaths. Mm -hmm.
As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread our needle, coming back to that table, dropping down to cow, exhale to cat, <clears throat> flowing back to our table. As we breathe that left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, gazing up at our left fingertips, breathe in, Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as our shoulder blades melt forward, maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, soothing and relaxing here. And if we choose, we can wrap this right arm around our backs, or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Whatever you decide, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table pose. As we push our bodies up to our damn dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. Tummies are tight here. Tightening our tummies at our navel, at our belly button, feeling that nice tight tummy. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe that right leg in the air, flowing back into that three-legged dog, gazing at our feet. As we bend that right foot towards that left buttock, opening up that hip, and we can hang out here and feel this pose, or we can flow over into a wild thing if that feels good for you. Feeling that full body stretch in our wild thing. This is a nice deep stretch. It's also a nice deep back bend. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling out, flowing back to that damn dog, gazing at our feet. Mm. Walking our dog. As we find our pause, we're gonna three leg it opposite side, breathing that right leg in the air. I'm sorry, breathing that left leg in the air, nice and high. Gazing at that foot. And if we choose, we can breathe that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip as we flow into our wild thing, if that feels good for us. Feeling that full body stretch. Feeling this nice deep breath. <sighs> Relaxing and soothing in his deep back bend. <sighs> One more breath. We are building strength in our arms here, simply relaxing. Oh, let's come back to our down dog, gazing at our feet. We're gonna drop one down to our knees and we're gonna come into a puppy pose, keeping our thighs slightly together with our buttocks in the air. We're gonna bring our torso downward towards the earth extending our arms in front of us with our palms flat on the earth we are in our puppy pose allowing our third eye chakra our forehead to connect to the earth as we go inwards focusing on self here five breaths Maybe we can breathe our palms together and flow our hands into a prayer hand, if that feels good. Hmm. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, we're gonna come out of that prayer hands if we were there. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose. Hmm. May we do three spinal waves. 
as we find our paws at table, we're gonna come on to that down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch, allowing that head to relax downward towards the earth. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Exhale into half, forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Breathe back down, complete forward fold. Hmm. Exhale into half. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, just walking our feet a little bit apart, we want to create some stance as we flow into our rag dial. Coming back down to that complete forward fold, hugging our shoulders, I'm sorry, hugging our elbows with our hands, allowing the body to soothe and relax. This rag dial regulates our heartbeat. And if we choose, we can rock our bodies, meaning swaying our bodies from side to side. Taking a notice of how when we sway our bodies from side to side, we can feel it behind our legs here in our hamstrings. We don't have to sway, it's just an option. Four breaths. Hmm. Two more breaths. Finding our paws, we are in our, um, we, let's come into a wide-legged forward fold. We're gonna yogi walk our feet slightly further apart, allowing our legs to be nice and wide here. And maybe we can touch our hands towards the earth if we're able. Or maybe we can grab a yoga block and touch the yoga block. Whatever feels good for you. We're just feeling a stretch here behind our legs. And maybe we can sway our bodies from left to right here in our wide-legged forward fold. Allowing the head to completely relax down if that feels good for you. Feeling the movements here as we sway left and right, going nice and slow. We don't want to go too fast unless we choose. A lot of times when we go slow, it allows us to feel the movement and feel the moment. It also allows us to relax. Takes us to never, never land in some places. Three more breaths. Hmm. As we find our pause, we want to connect our right hand to our right ankle and our left hand to our left ankle. Feeling that stretch, allowing that head to relax down. We're going to hang out here, staying still for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Maybe we can yogi walk our feet a little bit inward. We are in that wide legged. Ah, feeling that stretch, two more breaths. As we slightly bring our feet outward towards the edges of the yoga mat. And we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna flow into a goddess stance here. So feet are pointing outward towards the edges of the mat and our bodies are working the lower parts of our legs here. So we are in our goddess stance. We can be in our prayer hands. We can be in our cactus hands or we can flow our palms above our heads in that goddess salute or come down to goddess prayer. Whatever you choose, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, straightening out those legs, allowing the head to relax downward. This is a counter pose to what we just did. Noticing how this complete forward fold relaxes and soothes. 
the lower parts of our bodies. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. As we come on back up, we're gonna bend our knees again, flowing back into that goddess stance here. We're just gonna work on our lower parts of our bodies. We got summertime coming up, so we're trying to tone and firm the lower parts of our bodies. So we're in our goddess cactus hands as we cross our bodies up and down. Two more breaths. Finding that pause as we rock our body from side to side. Noticing the muscles that this works. Two more breaths. Finding pause, hanging out here, guys. Two breaths. Exhale the standing star, straightening out those legs, breathing our palms outward towards the side. Heart chakras open. Chin is slightly up. <sighs> Building that stretch here. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. <sighs> standing strong and standing firm. Standing like a star because we are a star. Two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale back down the goddess. Cactus hands. As we flow to our salute, our goddess salute. Palms above our head. Exhaling down to goddess prayer. Palms at heart center. Flowing back up to that salute. Exhale the prayer. Low into our cactus hands. Two breaths. Breathe complete forward fold. Connecting our right hand to our right ankle, our left hand to our left ankle. Allowing the head to completely relax downward here. Four breaths. I was told to let me charge my laptop. Oh my God. Hanging out here in this wide leg forward fold. A couple more breaths. As we exhale to down dog, we're going to breathe our legs together. Coming down with our hands, we are in that down dog. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a child's pose. Allowing the torso to relax between our thighs. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in here. Exhale. Feeling that body relax and soothe. And this time in our in our child's pose, we're gonna breathe our hands towards the back. We're gonna swim our hands towards the back, connecting our hands to our feet and allowing our torso and our third eye chakra to connect to the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward. Our bodies are shaped like an egg as we are going inward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Swimming our hands forward. Coming into an extended child's pose as we spinal wave the body out of this position. Feeling the spinal wave here in the spinal cord. As we find our pause, we are back in that table. We're gonna push our bodies up to that down dog. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. Noticing how this lunge feels in the body as we breathe up to our warrior one or our high lunge. We are in the high lunge in this position, or we are in a warrior one in this position. So whatever feels good for you. 
two more breaths. Exhale into warrior two. <sighs> Feeling the movement here. As we exhale to warrior one, twisting the body forward, arms in the air. Breathing back to warrior two. <sighs> exhale, reverse warrior. Breathing to an extended side angle or side angle. And our side angle, our hand is down and our extended, our arm is up in the air. Two more breaths. If we're in our side angle, let's come into an extended side angle. Breathing that arm up in the air. So left arm's in the air, right arm is crossed over that right thigh. Two more breaths. As we stay in this position, we're gonna come into a prayer hand. So bringing our palms to our heart center, we are now in prayer hands. Two breaths. Hanging out here in this pose. Staying in this pose if we choose. We're gonna breathe our right hand down towards our feet. Yes. Now we're gonna extend that left arm up in the air, gazing up at the left fingertips. Exhale into center. Both of our palms are on the earth, like we're in that runner's lunge. As we twist our bodies towards the right, right arm goes up in the air. Now we're in that revolved twist. It's a revolved twist because our bodies are twisted towards our thigh. Arms up in the air, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Bodies are getting nice and warm here. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, twisting that body forward. Both palms are on the earth as we flow to our down dog. Gazing at our feet as we are walking our dog. And we're gonna find our pause. And our bodies are nice and warm here. We're gonna keep on flowing. As we bring that left foot towards that left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. Feeling that stretch? <sighs> if all feels well, we're gonna flow up to our warrior one or our high lunge. So high lunge or warrior one. Noticing the difference between the two. Warrior one or high lunge. Exhale into warrior two. <sighs> As we are feeling our bodies getting nice and warm, feeling the movements here. Two more breaths. Exhale, warrior one. Flow into warrior two. As we breathe to reverse warrior. Two breaths. Exhale into side angle or extended side angle. <sighs> Two more breaths, feeling that stretch. If we are in our side angle, maybe extend that arm up in the air. <sighs> Holding this pose, we're gonna flow into a prayer hands, bringing our palms to our heart center. <sighs> We're gonna maintain this pose if we're able, and we're going to breathe our left hand downward towards the earth next to our feet. As we extend that right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our right fingertips, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale, both palms flat on the earth. As we twist our bodies towards our thigh, left arm goes up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are in our revolved twist, gazing up at our left fingertips if we choose. Our mind and our bodies are getting nice and warm and strong here today. Two more breaths. Exhale back down with both palms on the earth as we breathe to our down dog. 
Walking our feet forward, we are in that complete forward fold, hanging out here, holding this pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to half, forward. As we flow to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, standing nice and tall. Palms are at our side. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. We are standing nice and strong here. For our feet is planted into the earth. For we are grounded, we are rooted. For our head is, is ascending to new places. We are rising, we are growing. And when we rise and when we grow, may we always be true to who we are. May we always know our roots. May we always be strong and firm and positivity. As we breathe our palms upwards, coming into that standing salute, ascending our arms above our heads, flowing and growing into new levels. Feeling the mind grow, feeling the body grow stronger. Standing salute. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing our hands together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our torso to slightly flow towards the back. We are in a slight back bend. Exhaling back to our salute. Separating our palms, we are now, separating our palms, we are now in our extended mountain. In our standing salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. As we lean our bodies towards the side, now we are in our side bend. As we gaze up at the, at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra, three breaths. Exhale into center. As we allow our bodies to lean to the opposite side, feeling that side bend, gazing up at the heavens if we choose. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, flow into that salute. As we breathe down to our prayer, we are in that standing prayer. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale. As we flow to our half forward fold, we're going to stay in our prayer hands. So we are in our half forward fold. Pray your hands. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Slightly gazing forward. Two breaths. As we bend our knees, we're going to come into a chair pose. We're going to continue to work the lower parts of our bodies here, firming and toning our legs for the summer. We can keep our palms at prayer hands, or we can extend them in front of us. Whatever you choose here in this chair pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. Two more breaths. As we chair pose, twist, right side. Exhale, center. Chair pose, twist, opposite side. Flowing back to center. Exhale, complete forward fold. Flow into half forward. Breathing back up to that Tadasana, our mountain pose. Flow into that standing salute. Exhale to prayer. Breathing to our half forward fold. As we flow to that complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, coming into that down dog. Exhale into high plank. Tummy's nice and tight here. We are in that high plank, building strength. Two breaths. 
as we flow down to our low plank or our chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two more breaths. Exhale onto our tummies. We are in our Spanx pose. We are on our forearms. Tummies are on the earth. Our shoulders are not shrugged. We have control of our bodies. Our shoulders are relaxed away from our ears here. Noticing how this Sphinx pose feels in the lower spine, which is the lumbar spine. As we are gaze forward with our eyes closed to gaze down. Breathe in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, and we're gonna slightly push our bodies away from the earth. Elbows are slightly bent. Baby cobra. Exhale into cobra, straightening out those elbows. We are now in that cobra pose. This is a deeper back bend. <sighs> Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. We are now in that up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathing back to high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies. Here in our plank pose. Flowing down to our low plank or our chaturanga. Two breaths. Exhale and back down to our Sphinx pose. We are on our tummies, we are on our forearms. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Two breaths. As we come on down to our forearms, we're gonna cross our hands in front of us here. We're gonna come into a sweet position, allowing our head to relax downward on our palms. Shoulder blades melt forward, eyes are closed to gaze down. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we awaken from that sleep pose, we're gonna extend our arms in front of us. Legs are off the earth. We are in that Superman, Supergirl. And we can hang out still. We can act like we are flying. Whatever feels good for you, three breaths. <sighs> Finding a pause, we're gonna swim our hands towards the back. We're gonna flow into that locust pose. Palms are upwards towards the ceiling. Feet are still off the earth. This is a slight back bend. Four breaths. Two breaths. <sighs> Holding this pose, we're gonna relax our bodies downward, allowing the body to come towards the earth. As we relax our forehead, our third eye chakra onto the earth, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. We are in our sleeping locus. Four breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, we're gonna lift our bodies up, flowing back into that locust pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow into our bow pose, connecting our right hand to our right ankle and our left hand to our left ankle, we are in that full bow. This is a deeper back bend, using the hands to lift our torsos further away from the earth. <sighs> Four breaths. Coming out of the pose whenever you need to. Two more breaths. Exhaling down. Coming back into that sleeping locust. 
Swimming our hands forward, coming back into that sleep pose. Palms are stacked on top of each other, allowing our cheeks or our forehead to relax on our palms. Shoulder blades melt forward as we breathe in. Exhale. Three breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleep pose, we're gonna flow into our Sphinx pose. Coming onto our forearms, shoulders relaxed away from the ears, gazing forward or eyes are closed, two breaths. Coming into that baby cobra, pushing our torsos away from the earth, elbows bent. Flow into that cobra, straightening out those elbows. Exhale into our knees, coming into that tabletop position. Palms are flat on the earth as we shift our weight slightly forward here. Allowing our torso to come downward towards the earth like we're doing a push up. Exhaling back up, pushing our arms up to that table. Noticing how that small movement really works the upper parts of the body, the arms, the shoulders. We're gonna give that another try. Both palms are flat on the earth here in our tabletop position. As we shift our weight forward, we are on our hands, we are on our knees. As we allow the torso to come slightly downward towards the earth, feeling like we're doing a push up or a chaturanga. Exhaling back up, pushing our bodies up as we flow to a child's pose or a puppy pose, bringing the buttocks towards the heels of the feet. <sighs> Torso relaxes downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra relaxes down. Four breaths. Mm. Extending our arms in front of us, we're gonna spine the wave our bodies out of this position. Finding our paws at table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position. Just for a second. We're gonna come onto our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Mm. Extending our legs up in the air, legs up on the wall pose or invisible wall. Reaching our hands down towards our feet. Breathing our hands, breathing our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly up there. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we breathe our knees inward, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Allowing the torso to relax. Allowing the back to relax into the earth. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, we are in our reclined spinal twist here. Relaxing and soothing the body here in this reclined twist. As we extend our right arm out to the side like a T. Maybe we'll gaze over that right shoulder, or maybe we'll gaze up at the heaven. We can straighten out that top leg if that feels good for us. Going deeper into that twist. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Mm. 
allowing the knees to flow towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Fill in that spinal twist. Left arm flows outward towards the side as we gaze over that left shoulder. Or gazing up at the heavens. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth. Eyes are closed to gaze down. Body's completely relaxed. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Hugging the knees into the chest. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Plants are flexing our toes upwards towards the heavens. Filling that stretch as we point our toes upwards. We are in that plantar flex. Reaching our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Feeling this full body stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we flow down to happy baby. Bringing our hands between our thighs. Hands connecting to the feet. We are in our happy baby. Allowing the earth to relax our spinal cord. And if we choose, we can actually rock our body from side to side, noticing how that feels on the spine. Hmm. Or we can find our pause and just hang out, soothe and relax here in a happy baby for five breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, reaching down to the lower parts of our legs, breathing our legs towards our torso. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees into our chest. As we straighten out our legs, coming into a Shavasana. Legs are parallel right and side. The sides of our feet are connected or touching as we allow our feet to completely flow to the side. This allows our legs to completely relax. Our shoulder blades are connected to the earth. Our eyes are gazed down to close as we fill our mind and our bodies, relaxing and soothing. We are going inward. Focusing on self and self-care. As we hang out here in silent meditation for eight natural breaths. Four more breaths. As we flow onto our side, maybe keeping our eyes closed if that feels good for you. As we come into a fetal pose. Hmm. And in our fetal pose, we're going to continue to Focus on self. We're going to continue to focus on self. Four more breaths.
Two more breaths. As we use our top hands, push your bodies into a seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you, I'm going to come into a cow face, crossing my feet on top of each other, my thighs on top of each other. My feet are off towards the side. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long here. Shoulders melted downward away from the ears. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.